Hello, my name is Miss Sinta Laura and I'm from 03 SEJP 006 class and I make this video to complete my final assignment for introduction to linguistics lesson and I'm going to explain about the English semantics. For the first, I'm going to explain about the definition of semantic. So, semantic means the meaning and interpretation of words, signs, and sentences structure. Semantics largely determine our reading comprehension, how we understand others, and even when decision we make as a result of our interpretation. Semantics can also refer to the branch of study within linguistics that deals with language and how we understand meaning. This has been a particularly interesting field for philosophers as they debate the essence of meaning, how we build meaning, how we share meaning with others, and how meaning change over time. Here, semantics are divided into eight parts. For the first is lexical, and second is grammatical, and in the third is behaviorist, and fourth is descriptive, and fifth is generative, and sixth is history, seventh is logical, and the last is structural. For the first is lexical. Lexical is a more satisfying semantic study for cases and discussion of the meaning system contained in words. Lexical semantic pays attention to the meaning contained in the sentence as an independent unit. And the second is grammatical. Grammatical is a semantic study that specifically examines the meaning contained in sentence units. In other words, people have to interpret the whole content of the sentence and what is behind the sentence. A word will shift its meaning when placed or combined with other words. Third is behaviorist. Behaviorist meaning is determined by the situation and by the environment. And the fourth is descriptive. Descriptive is a special semantic study that shows the meaning that currently applies. The semantics only focuses on the meaning of the word when the word first appears or only pays attention to the present meaning. And fifth is generative. Generative is the combination of external and internal structures that are interconnected by a process called transformation. Sixth is history. History is the study of semantics that examines system of meaning in time series. This historical semantic study emphasizes the study of meaning over time, not change in word form and comparing with past, unpaired, or between words at certain times with words in other languages. Seventh is logical. Logical is the branch of modern logic that deals with symbolic concepts and notation in language analysis. And the last is structural. Structural is a system, a unique structural relationship made up of units called structures. The structure is incarnated in elements in the form of phonemes, morphemes, words, phrases, clauses, sentences and discourses which divide them into chronological, morphological, syntactic and research studies. For the last point, here I have some example of semantic. Um, the example is divided into two parts. For the first is multiple meaning and the second is words without meaning. In conclusion, semantic is the meaning and interpretation of words, signs, and sentences structure, and it divides into eight types, lexical, grammatical, behaviorist, descriptive, generative, history, logical, and structural. And I think that's all about the topic of my video. May all this I have shared be beneficial for all of us. Thank you for your listening and stay healthy.